Hey what's going on guys, today I'll show you how to make a vertical text on your page by using the Elementor. Here in this tutorial we are gonna make two types of vertical text. The first one where we make the whole text vertical and for the second one we also make it vertical but here each of our letters are actually horizontal. So adding this type of vertical text adds some variation in your page which is one of the great way to improve your page design. Okay, so without further ado, let's see how can we make that. So here on this page, we have already added some content. So now we want to add an vertical text. For this, first of all, let's drag and heading widget at the left column. And here, let's change this text. And here, before making it vertical, first of all, let's quickly add some typography with that. I want to make its font size to 15 or 16 pixel and let's make the font weight to 400 and also give some letter spacing between these letters make it to 4 and then from the color i also want to make it to fully black color then let's go to this advanced tab and here first of all i want to go to the positioning and from the width i want to make it to inline and after that here we need to use some custom css code to rotate our text. So here you can see the custom CSS option and here to use this custom CSS option you have to have the pro version of Elementor. So if you didn't have Elementor Pro you can quickly get this from my link on the description. Okay now here let's paste this custom CSS code and you can see our text has been rotated on this vertical direction. So if you look at this custom code here you can see we have rotated this text at the minus 90 degree from here you can also change this angle like if you want to make it to minus 40 degree you can see we can also rotate it on the different angle but i would like to make it to the minus 90 degree okay now here we need to make its position absolute because here you can see it's overlapping with our this heading text so from the positioning let's make its position to that absolute and you can also position that by simply dragging this anywhere of your page and you can also adjust the x and y offset also from these settings okay let's adjust this a little bit down so this is our first example so let's go to our second example for this we also need an heading widget and here let's write some text Okay, from the style, let's make its color to this type of dark red color. And from the typography also, let's make its font to 16 pixel, font weight to 400. And here we also want to add some background for this heading. So from the advanced, go to this background option. And from here, let's add a color. And then I also want to add some border radius. So from this border option, Let's make the radius to 3. Lastly, here also give some padding. So give a 10 pixel of padding on each side. Now to make it vertical, the first step we need to do, we need to go to the custom CSS code and here paste this code. And you don't need to worry about this code snippet. You can get all of the code snippet to my website, which link I also give on my description. Okay, so after pasting the CSS, let's go to this positioning and from the width we need to make its width to the custom and from here let's give it width to 35 pixel okay here we give it to 35 because we can see at this width here all of our letters are in one line okay but here you can see the text alignment are on the left side so from the content let's make the alignment to the middle and I also want some spacing between these letters. So from this style tab, from this typography, I want to add some line height between these letters. So let's select the EM and make it to 1.5. Now this looks good. But here, if we go to this content tab, here we can see our actual word is the award winning. And here we give any space between these two words. But if we look at our vertical text, here we cannot see this space here so for our this type of vertical text 
this space is actually doesn't work. So to give any space, what we need to do, we need to use an br tag. Okay, and not only one time, we need to use this twice. Okay, now you can see this space between this word here. And finally, we also want to make its position to absolute. So from this positioning option, let's make it to the absolute. And here I want to position this from the right side. So make this horizontal orientation to the right and adjust its position a little bit more right side. Minus 17 and make it to minus 35. Okay, now that looks cool. And finally, let's quickly check this from our tablet and mobile device. So go to this responsive mode option. And first of all, let's check this on our tablet. Okay, for this tablet device, here you can see for our left vertical text, we cannot see that because it goes outside of our screen, but we can see a portion of that. Let's drag this to at this position. Okay, here we need to position this at the top of our this text because for tablet we do not have enough space on the left side so we can position that on here but here you can see it's not actually look that great so what i want to do i want to disable its vertical orientation from our tablet device so for this we need to go to again to the custom css code and here after this code we need to add some more code here and now you can see our text looks good with this default horizontal orientation for our tablet device. And if you look at this custom CSS code, here you can see we have add a media query from 1024 pixel, which is the breakpoint of our tablet device. So here we make the rotation to the default zero degree. And also instead of the position absolute, we make it to the default static position. Okay, now this looks great. And here for our this right side text, we also want to move it a little bit left. So from this positioning option, I want to move it to minus 10. So finally go to our mobile device and here it's also looking great. Finally, let's click on this update button to save our work. And finally, I want to check this from our this preview mode. And here I want to check this from all of our device width. So let's right click and enable this toggle bar. Okay, if we reduce the width of our device. So here at this point, here we can see actually around 1100 pixel, this text is goes outside of our screen. So if we look at this, here I want to keep this text on vertically till 180 pixel. And after that, I want to make it to the default position at here. So we need to copy this width from here and here for our this heading, go to the custom CSS code and here instead of 1024, I want to make it to 1180 pixel. So now let's save this. Okay, now you can see from 1180 pixel, it goes at the default position and after that it becomes our vertical text. So that's how you can make a vertical text in Elementor. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want me to help you for your WordPress related project, feel free to contact me through my website, which is makedreamwebsite.com. I'll try my best to help you. Thank you so much. I'll see you on my next tutorial.